Hey, so I wanted to give you a tour, kind of a walkthrough of how I organize my whole life in my happy planner. This one had a defect. <laughs> I got it like 50% off because I had this defect. Uh, so start living your dreams. Um, but yeah, I want to give you kind of a walkthrough, kind of like the important pages and how I use this because if you've seen my productivity video, I talk about there's kind of like these three steps and the final step is kind of organizing everything in one place, which for me is a calendar. And so for me, that's Happy Planner. You could use the system in like Google Calendar, you could use it in Notion, um, basically whatever you want to use it in, you could use the system. I personally just like pen and paper, so I use the planner. I'm using Happy Planner. You could use any planner you wanted really. So I'm just sort of kind of the front here. Um, the first notable page is there's a page for birthdays. I would say a lot of planners have this. It's not anything special. Um, so at the start of every year, I kind of, I Facebook stalk people if I don't know their birthdays and then I write down um, when their birthday is. And then I go through the actual planner and I write down two weeks before their birthday. I give myself a reminder, especially if I'm going to buy them a gift. Like if I don't plan on buying that person a gift, then I won't do it. But that's something I do. Um, the next probably important page is in the happy planner. There is kind of a blank page before the start of every month. This is like a little insert I did. So I'll tell you, tell you about that in a second. Um, but so it says for me, I've kind of wrote down recurring events. So I wrote down content ca calendar, church volunteering, small group. Um, we've got some friends that we hang out with every other week, birthdays, budgeting, stuff like that. And it just reminds me that at the start of every month when I do my monthly planning to write in those recurring things. Um, there's washing sheets, cleaning the bathroom, like basically whenever I want to do that. So when I do my monthly planning, then I write that stuff in here whenever I want to do it. So I use that page and that page will look the same unless I start thinking of more things. It'll look the same every month on that page. It's start of February. That'll be the same start of March, April. So then I write those things down. Uh, the next interesting thing, I'm going to go to a future month. So maybe it's a little easier to see. Uh, this is just June. I flipped to. There's a notes column on the monthly spread and I've chunked it out by week. Um, and right in this column is where I put things that are they're either things that are really far in the future, like I want to change my snow tires in October. So I'll just put them there because I don't know exactly what day I want to do it. So it's usually stuff that's really far in advance and I don't know what day I want to do it. Or it's goal oriented things. So like I want to come out with a digital product in October. So I write that down. Or I want to start working on the planner in June. So I'll project plan it in June. And so it's just futuristic things that I want to make sure that I don't forget. So that's what I use that column for. And that's probably been my favorite part of this whole system is just how like futuristic I can be and not attach things to a date until I'm ready. So that's what I do kind of when I do my monthly planning. I basically just write down any of those recurring things like some of it's chore oriented like when do I want to clean the bathroom and stuff and I write it all down. And that's because I like to have things so planned. Then when I move into my weekly planning, I'll show you like random, like let's say I was planning this week here. I would take all of the events that are happening that week and then I just add them to my weekly spread. And stuff looks so messy on the monthly spread, but then once it gets to the weekly spread, it looks very organized in my opinion. Like I'll show you a month that I've already been through. This is December and it looks so messy. Like it's just, it's incredibly messy, but I would rather all this mess be right here than in my brain. But then once it gets to the weekly level, it doesn't look like that much. And I think that's the whole key of this is that sometimes when things are just in your head, like all these tasks and errands and stuff, it just seems like a lot. And I think the more that you have, like if you have kids and you're married and you have a job and you have a side hustle and you have these goals that you want to do, like the more stuff that you have and the more places you're involved in, the more messy this is all going to be. And you want to keep your mind clear for stuff that's really important, like not just tasks and errands. Um, the other thing that maybe I want to note is what I like about the happy planner is it's this disc system. So the reason that that's nice is because you can take pages out and put them back in really easily. Um, so like, for example, these little, I bought like a mini happy planner. It's like a mini monthly spread. And I put this in there and it's where I am planning to do my content planning. Um, and then they just like snap right back in. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, part of that is, so I actually have this hole punch. So like if you like a document online, like maybe you go on Etsy and you like this planner this person did, or like, for example, maybe you like the vision book that I made and you want to put it in a planner, um, you can actually print stuff off, hole punch it, and then put it in here. Um, I think the size is like, 
eight and a half by 10, but I don't want to quote me on that. Um, so that's, that's what I really like about it. Last year I did a ton of customization this year. I'm not really, the only thing I really have is this mini monthly spread that I already showed you. Very straightforward. I have sampled tons of productivity, productivity systems. So many, like I've tried Evernote. I've tried Notion. I've tried Google calendar. I've tried all the stuff. And this is the one that has worked the best for me. It's the simplest. It's the one that I've been able to sustain. Um, I'm a pen to paper person. So you could use with any planner. I'm using this one, but it's really what's worked out the best for me long term. This is the only planner and planning system that I've ever duplicated like year to year. I'm always just wanting to try new stuff, but I like the system. I'm in the groove. Like it's just working so well that I'm keeping this one. What I love so much the most about this system is that it keeps my goals in line. Like I have, like when I made my yearly goals, I chunked those into tasks and I wrote those down here. So I said like, I want to move on this day, which means I want to book, you know, the place to stay on this day. It means I want to pack on this day, which means I want to kind of minimalize my whole house on this day. And it just really keeps me on track. And like we, like, for example, we moved, that went so smoothly. Like, you know, some people when they move, they're like kind of like falling apart. But when we moved, it was so easy because we chunked it out. Like as soon, we found out and we knew we were going to move 30 days from then. So we chunked it out. Okay, what all do we need to do? We're going to just do a little bit each weekend. And it made it a lot easier. And it was just the two of us. Like we never, we didn't call any friends. We didn't ask for any help. When I look at this happy planner, I'm not like, wow, cool people use happy planners. <laughs> but they're so great. I mean, even with their, they're a little like, um... The phrase that's coming to mind is they're not hip with the times, but hip with the times is not a hip with, a hip with the times phrase, but it, I don't know. The look of this is not hip with the times, we're going to say, but it, it works well. The disc bound system is nice and you can get them like anywhere. You can get them at Michael's, Amazon, I'll link it. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know uh, where you like to plan. Like, like, I'm actually like curious, like, do you plan like paper planner? Are you like fully like digital? Do you like Google calendar and stuff like that? So yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.